Hey radio enthusiasts, with the world of ham radios continuously evolving, finding the right HF antenna can be quite the task. But don't fret, today I'll be guiding you through the best HF antennas for ham radios, breaking down all their features, pros, and cons. I've dedicated countless hours of research to bring you unbiased information, ensuring you get the antenna that suits your needs. Trust me, you won't want to miss a single moment of this. Let's dive right in. Price information and all antennas mentioned in the video are available in the description. Number 3. Moonraker Limited GPA-80 Best Budget HF Antenna a small footprint paired with attractive pricing and decent performance make the Moonraker Limited GPA 80HF Vertical 86 Meter Antenna my budget choice for HF antennas. As the name implies, this is an 80 meter to 6 meter antenna. As such, the TX range goes from 3.5 to 54 megahertz, while the RX range is 2.0 to 90 megahertz. The antenna is relatively lightweight and doesn't need too much space, which might make it a suitable option for many amateurs. It's placed vertically, so the space requirement isn't as extensive as some classic dipoles favored by hands. When installed, the antenna prefers to use the coaxial cable as the ground plane. This is also the preferred method for this antenna. Otherwise, it tends to add some noise or show a noticeable drop in performance. Adding a radial plate is effective as well but the Anun will need closer attention. If you're aiming for a similar setup, the radial plate and Anun needs to be purchased separately, though the antenna has a matched base. That said, some sellers and antenna packagings have a Balan Anun in the box, which can come in pretty handy. Overall, the Moonraker GPA 80HF antenna is a good choice for those who want a budget option and have limited space for the antenna. It is relatively easy to handle and quick to set up for experienced users, although the lack of proper documentation also means that beginners can struggle with setting it up properly. Number 2. DX Engineering XB5 Hex Beam HF Antenna Best Premium HF Antenna DX Engineering's Hex Beam Antennas are generally well received, and it's no surprise that the XB5 fits nicely into this category. The price tag carries some heft, but if you've got limited space and the desire for premium performance, this directional antenna will fit your needs. The shape of the antenna is unorthodox, but the company says they've put in a fair amount of expertise, technology, and experience in building it. One look at the stainless steel construction can suffice in making believers from skeptics to such tall claims. Stainless steel has been used liberally in the antenna body and is accompanied by fiberglass center post and spreaders. The fiberglass provides some flexibility to the antenna and adds to its strength. Also, there is no need to drill into the fiberglass during installation. Instead, DXE recommends using stainless steel clamps and studs to hold it in place without compromising its structural integrity. This antenna is sold as a full kit and includes everything you'd need to set it up. Studs, mount, ballon, and everything needed is in the package. Better yet, the instruction manual is quite comprehensive, yet easy to follow. That makes a big difference considering the unorthodox design and the fact that most antenna manufacturers barely bother with quality documentation. Yet, putting it all together is not a breeze. Expect to spend a couple of days, perhaps more, depending on your acumen and skill. The installed antenna can work fine with lower heights, though going above 25 feet is desirable. Of course, local environmental factors will play a role in where you install the antenna. It works on the 20, 17, 15, 12, and 10 meter bands and offers great performance across the board. The 20 meter band can suffer from higher SWR than the other bands, so some tinkering could be necessary. Even so, the performance isn't bad. There's simply some scope for improvement. The RF power output can go up to the full legal limit without any problem. The reception is similarly good with low noise and high signal quality. Overall, the DX Engineering XB5 Hex Beam HF Antenna, DXE XB5, 
is a great pick for those who have limited space but would like a high quality antenna. It's pricey and takes time to put together, but even those with limited experience can assemble it without any problem. Number 1. DX Commander Signature 9 HF, our top choice. The DX Commander line of antennas is pretty well regarded for performance and quality, and that plays a big part in making this antenna our top choice. This 9 meter or 29.53 feet tall antenna can work as a quarter wave antenna and receive 40 meter to 10 meter bands. It is possible to extend its use further to 80 meters, but that will need the addition of a horizontal inverted L wire. You could even use the 30 meter band in the same configuration, though that will require the use of an antenna tuner. However, for most users, the stock antenna will do the trick. DX says that the new Signature 9 antenna builds on the success of the Commander Classic and Signature 12.4 antennas. And with such big shoes to fill, it makes a serious attempt at getting things right. In some ways, that starts right from the appearance. The Signature 9 has an almost premium look. Well, the kind of premium look you can expect from a premium antenna. The alloy plates are made from 5251 alloy. The spreader plates are marine-grade, high-density polyethylene and carefully crafted fiberglass poles. The antenna works as a fan dipole and can accept four radial wires per connector, going all the way to 120 radials. The driven plate plays nicely into this, allowing the user to conveniently pick their choice of bands. Also, the way it handles noise is nothing short of impressive. The signal quality is remarkable and with very low noise. There can be some trouble with the 10 meter band, but it's not bad and can be handled with some tuning. Apart from the good signal quality in SWR, the antenna also lends itself well to power. It can go to a maximum of 1450 watts with SSB or 375 watts when using digital signals. The multiple band resonant antenna comes with the most necessities for a successful installation. It doesn't include an unknown, but that's not a big issue. Instructions from DX are quite intensive and clear, which makes setting up the antenna easier. Yet some experience with setting up vertical antennas is useful. Overall, DX Commander Signature 9 is an excellent antenna with premium build and great features.